ラジオ日経で放送している番組 ESG A2Z からのスピンオフシリーズ「私のウェルビーイング」今回はカナダの森林生態学者でブリティッシュコロンビア大学森林学部教授のスザンヌ・シマードさんに森林保護の観点からのウェルビーイングそして木質バイオマス燃料発電の問題点について伺いました。So, yes, I'll talk about my well being. I, I,、um, I'm from Canada. I grew up in forests, and my well being is very much、uh, attached to being in my forests. And I think that's true of a lot of Canadians,、um, especially the first people of Canada.、Uh, and in fact, there is a saying that says,、uh, heal the land, heal the people. And so I think that reflects our great connection to the land and my own as well. So, you know, in the last、uh, 30 years, we've seen a great deal of changes on our landscape in Canada.、Um, and, and I want to emphasize that those changes that we're seeing are related to the global cycle. So, what's happening in forests all around the world、um, and in climates all over around the world are bear- coming to bear on what's going on in our forests.、Um, and so, these places are all. Connected together. So,、uh, one of the things that we've been witnessing is a great deal of uh, uh, insect infestations and wildfire in our forests,、um, and a lot, of,、uh, a lot of extensive logging in our forests. And this has made people actually have a lot of grief in Canada、um, because they see their forests in, in decline. And,、uh, and so The well being, when you asked about well being, I would say that our well being is, is really being challenged right now.、Um, and,、uh, you know, a lot of this we brought on ourselves by not being good stewards of the land.、Uh, we don't treat the land as sustainably often, so、uh, not tending the land well and taking too much from the land. So, harvesting the forest at too high of a rate. And then not valuing the forest for its life es- essential processes.、Um, okay, so how does this link in with other countries like Japan?、Um, well, you know, what's happening in our forests is probably also happening in your forests, even though you have a different climate.、Um, you know, the stresses that we're seeing. I know are being, you know, it's, it's, it's affecting forests all over the world. So,、uh, even though here I, I haven't seen, you know, the forests look healthy from driving by,、uh, but when I go inside of them, I can see that they also have, there's issues. <laughs>、um, so, you know, the forests are quite simplified, for example. Our forests in Canada are as well, it's through management practices.、Um, And,、uh, and that means that they're less resilient and re- less able to resist these stresses. So, the reason that I came to Japan is because,、um, you know, J- Japan and many other countries all around the world are looking to change their energy sources from fossil fuels or nuclear power, in the case of Japan, to renewable energy. And so, renewable energy includes things like solar power, wind power, but also biofuels. And、uh, the use of biofuels, the increasing use of biofuels or pellets in wood pellets、uh, it, to generate electricity in Japan is, is growing exponentially、um, as, there, as Japanese government is trying to replace、uh, nuclear power and fossil fuel power with, with these renewables.、Um, A lot of these pellets or this biofuel is actually being sourced from, from Canada or British Columbia, a large part of it. Other sources are、uh, places like Vietnam, but this is creating a lot of pressure on our forests in Canada.、Um, so, forests are being logged,、um, and part of the residue is being used, is being shipped across the, the Pacific Ocean to,、uh, to Japan as pellets. To be used to generate electricity.、Um, and in the process, not only is w- waste sometimes used, but also whole forests are being chipped and, and, and shipped overseas to Japan.、Uh, 
um, this is a, a energetically not a good idea um, because number one, it's it's actually having a really negative impact on our forests, and it also is a, a very poor. It's not a climate solution; it's actually a climate problem. It's actually emitting more carbon dioxide uh, through this process than would be through other sources of energy. And so I'm I'm coming here to talk to you know to talk to you, to the people of Japan, to say there's got to be a better way because um, uh, that is more efficient, a better, more efficient sources of energy than biofuels, which are very, very low efficiency. Um, so only about 20 to 40 percent of, of energy is actually extracted from wood to create electricity, and that's a very, very low amount compared to other sources. So, and the destructive effect on the envir environment is really, really high. And so when we log forests for these very low value uses, we actually emit a lot of carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere. Um, and so it's, 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 um, it's actually very, it's, it's actually deg degrading to the, to the environment. A lot of these uh, forests that are being logged are actually primary forests. Um, most of the logging in Canada is in primary forests. Uh, which means they've not been logged before. Um, and so they have a lot of high biodiversity and carbon stocks in them. Um, and so the logging of them to, for fuels is, is actually destroying those long, long legacies that took thousands of years to really get there in the first place. Uh, so this is actually, you know, these practices actually degrade our forests. Um, and so I'm coming here to appeal to the Japanese people to look at alternative sources of energy rather than biofuels. Um, and it doesn't mean that biofuels don't have a place. Um, they do if they're sourced locally, um, and then it starts to make a little bit more sense uh, from an energy point of view. That means that in Japan, that if you're going to use wood to generate electricity or heat, it should be from, from your own forests. Um, but even then, it probably doesn't add up to a good decision. So these things need to be thought through very carefully, um, but sourcing these this wood from Canada is uh, is a, is is a it's not a climate solution. ESG についてはラジオ日経第一で放送中の ESG A to Z でも学べますので、ぜひ皆さんご覧ください。